Today, let's talk about the five or maybe six key activities that newer property investors should be doing during the summer. Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses. And my channel is all about helping you achieve financial freedom through property. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the free content that I give you each and every week. So um, I'm outside, by the way, because I bought myself this new gimbal. And um, <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a play around. I didn't really buy it for the property stuff. I bought it because I want to learn a bit more about filmmaking. And I also want to support my daughter, Chloe, uh, who's doing a filmmaking degree. So I just thought I'd have a try outside. And it's bloody heavy. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about the five key activities that I think new property investors should be getting active with during the summer months. And the first of these is, I believe that you should reach out to all of those HMO landlords who have yet, that, that, that deal with students, that have yet to secure a tenancy from a group of students for the coming academic year. So think about how motivated those people are going to be right now. They haven't been able to find any tenants <laughs> and they can't start renting mid-year. They need somebody now. So maybe you reach out to those people, you find out who they are, and you connect with them, and you put together some kind of a solution that works well for them where you take on that property. And maybe instead of using the property for students for the coming academic year, you rent it out to professionals for that year. After that, it's up to you what you do with it, isn't it? So my first tip is to reach out to those HMO landlords with student properties that have yet to actually find tenants for the coming academic year. When you're on holiday, whether you're in the UK or abroad, keep your eyes open. Continue to look for potential opportunities. Now, I've been away loads of times and I've seen places and I think to myself, that's amazing. That would be an amazing opportunity, but I've never taken any action. So um, I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But if you're away, if you're on holiday, keep your eyes open. Look for opportunities all the time and try to connect with the people that own those properties. Did you know that auctions are generally a lot quieter during the summer months? That means another great opportunity for you. So if there is a property or two or three that is going to auction in your area, I would strongly encourage you to do your due diligence and go along to the auction room because you may be surprised at how many people are bidding on those properties. And you could really pick yourself up a fantastic deal. Of course, the, the counter tip for that is don't sell your property at auction during the summer. <laughs> Here's one I talk about a lot. You should walk around your investment area during the summer. After all, the sun's shining. <laughs> Get out there, walk around your investment area. Because as I've said many times before, I bet within a mile of where you live, there's a fantastic opportunity for you to add real tangible value to a property. But because you haven't walked around your investment area, you just haven't found it yet. <laughs> during the summer months, uh, estate agents are generally gonna be quieter, aren't they? Uh, especially commercial agents actually because all of those people are buying those investment type properties while they've gone on holiday so this is your opportunity to get into those agents offices and start to really build that rapport uh, in a way that maybe you may have found it more challenging when there were so many other people walking into their offices looking to buy similar types of properties so get in there start speaking to those agents and building that rapport and you may well find that you spot a deal now uh, and the agent is willing to put forward your low offer now because nobody else is out there buying. Everybody else has gone on holiday. And my last tip is perhaps a little bit obvious and it's that summer will be gone before we know what's hit us. So yes, I, I would love you to do some work um, and comment below on any actions that you're gonna take. But whilst the summer's here, get out there and enjoy it <laughs> because winter will be here before we know what's hit us. Uh, thanks, I hope you enjoyed this slightly random video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. For more tips and tricks like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and download this 50-point checklist because it's going to really help you the next time you find investment property. My name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses with online training to help you build your property portfolio. <laughs>